Hi there, it's Michelle. And I know you've been going, where's Michelle? Where's Michelle? Where's the chocolate sauce pudding? Where is it? So today we're making chocolate sauce pudding from a recipe from a long time ago. Look how old my recipe is. That is when we used to have boarders when we were growing up. And for their birthday, they could choose whatever they wanted for dinner. And that's what we do in our family now on our birthdays. So one of their specialty desserts that they always wanted was chocolate sauce pudding. Whenever we have visitors, we have chocolate sauce pudding. And it's always yummy. Well, today I'm going to make it for you. And guess what? Then I get to eat it with my family and there's no visitors. So... Yum. Well, firstly, we've got to put our oven on 180 just to preheat it. Oh my gosh, Jenna. Like, they've never seen an oven before. Okay. Then we have to cream uh, three ounces of butter. And what else do I need? I need three quarters of a cup of sugar. Excuse me. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. I'm going to need to cream that. Okay, so I've beaten that for about five minutes. So, you know, people reckon it should get really, really pale, and it should, but you know what? In this recipe, it'll work out either way. Now, I need to incorporate two eggs. It says to fold in, but I can't be bothered getting a separate utensil out, so I just mix it. It always works out. So, look at this. Notice I'm using a hand beater today, not a Thermomix, so you won't, you those people who don't have a Thermomix won't have Thermomix Envy. Okay, now, next egg. Okay, do that one. This is a really, really quick dessert for when you have visitors around. And people think it's amazing. So... All those people who have had dinner at my house, now you see it's a really, really easy dessert. Okay, now we need to put in... In here is one and a half cups of flour, plain flour, two teaspoons of baking powder. Should have... And we also need... One and a half tablespoons of cocoa. One, two. You like how I measure that so precisely? And then we're going to stick some of this in. Give it a mix in. See how easy this is? Then we have three quarters of a cup of milk. And I'm going to put half of it in. Then I'm going to mix that in. How easy is this? See? Your husbands will be able to make this. Okay, then I put half of what's left in there in there. You always need to leave some of the flour for the end, otherwise it doesn't look very good. Now, the other part of the milk, just full cream milk, because I think it's important to eat it how God provided it, straight out of the cow, even though it's been through a probably factory or two as well. But, why have this skim business and this light business when you can have the full cream dairy goodness of how God provided it? Otherwise, he would have made it light milk, and he didn't, did he? Okay, let's just put this in. Look, you're not a good cook unless you make a big mess. You're a master chef. I like to have clean, tidy benches. <sighs> clean, tidy benches. Who is that for? No, let's have a messy bench, I say. Mix that in. And we're nearly done. Now, this is a chocolate self-sourcing pudding. So you go, where is the salt? Well, it's coming. She was very worried that my bowl was too small. I said, Jenna, 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 have no fear. 
in a smaller bowl it's much easier to whip up your butter and your eggs because yeah. it's all too close together if you have a big bowl you've got to spread everywhere and you've got to try and run around the bowl trying to catch it much easier this way okay so now very simple we need two cups of boiling water we need to put all the mixture in a greased bowl remember leave some to lick afterwards on the beaters as well otherwise the family will not like you very much now in a clean bowl we need to put I know this is a very healthy recipe another three quarters a cup of sugar I'm using more sugar that's just because that's what I use these days and I think it gives a little bit more caramelizing type of flavor and two tablespoons of cocoa we need to quickly mix that around mix 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 sprinkle that healthy mixture over here now I need to get a spoon out over the back of a spoon two cups of boiling water or over a spoon otherwise it's going to splash everywhere so just like this how good does that look and if you can smell it you can smell you can smell the cocoa and all the yummy goodness and now we're going to put it in the oven and it takes a little bit it takes about 40 to 45 minutes and depending on your day depending on the weather it will be different okay and sometimes it will even overflow often mine overflow sometimes i have runny sauce sometimes i have thick sauce I use the same ingredients every time but it turns out different every time but it's always really scrummy so I'm going to set that and let's look at it when it's ready okay so it's actually cooked for 45 minutes after 40 minutes it still wasn't quite right so this is 45 minutes and look at that okay you can tell it's ready I just go like that and you can just see it sponges back doesn't um sink and not come back okay do you want to see what it looks like when it comes out oh my god so and then we just have cream i'll just whip that up but i'm sure you know how to whip cream so i'm not going to waste your time with that if you don't know how leave me a message say michelle can you show me how to whip cream and i'll show you ready the kids are so excited because they said we don't have visitors so we don't have don't have to share it so we get more I said we don't have to eat all of it now <laughs> okay so look at that wow. now down here look at the sauce now it's quite a runny sauce today remember I told you sometimes it's thick sometimes it's runny and that is my chocolate sauce pudding. Yeah! See you next time and I'm going to show you how to make Play-Doh.